Shalom brothers and sisters, or Shalom Akim wa Akiwath. Uh, last time we was here, we're now going into lesson four of the Hebrew grammar. On lesson three, I gave you some homework, which you were supposed to have done through the, um, the website. Now here's the homework right here. We're going to go over the homework that I gave you. The first question I gave you was to write this sentence here in the Hebrew. Now the sentence read, the man is in his tent and with our children. Now we're going to write this in Hebrew to go over the class. We're going to try and keep the class a little shorter, most high willing. But um, we're going to be begin by translating this. Now I remember last week or the last time we had class, this was all about um, conjunctions. We was dealing with possessions, so on and so forth. So let's do this here. First, we're going to say the man. Remember, now we're writing from right to left. The man, we're going to write Ha'adam. That's the man is in his tent. In his tent here is what? A prepositional phrase, so we're going to write it as such. So, in his tent, that's ba. Bayath, bayath, which is tent. And his, the preposition, or the possession, is wa. So, here we have ha-adam, ba, bayath, wa. Now we're going to go on to and with our children. We're going to write this whole thing, this whole preposition of phrase as one word. So we're going to have and, which is wa, and with, which is ba, children, our children or children our is bun. Yenawa. So here we have it. Ha Adam, the man. Gonna write down here like this, separate it for you. Ha Adam, the man. Baba Yathwa in Bayath tent wa his. Then you have another wa in the beginning of this prepositional phrase, which means and. Another ba with. Because ba doesn't only mean in, it also means with. Bun yanawa, or our sons or our children. So this is our children. So there you have it. Ha adam. You all repeat it after me as I'm saying it. Ha Adam, ba, ba, wa, wa, ba, bun, yanawa. Ha, Adam, ba, ba, ya, wa, wa, ba, bun, yanawa. The man in his tent and with our children. Later on, when I finish, go over um, your homework. I'm going to show you how, I'm, how we're going to use these same possessive adjectives or possessive pronouns like wa and nawa and how we're going to use it as pronomial pronouns. 
In other words, we're gonna instead of wa being his, it's gonna make him we're gonna make it as a pronoun and it's gonna be him. But I'll show you that when we finish with the homework. So we're gonna go to the next quote, the next sentence. Everybody got this down? Make sure you check it. Make sure the ones that you did at home matches what I have right here. Okay, the next sentence we have here is bread. and water is in front of her table. Bread and water is in front of her table. Now last week I gave you the words for bread and water, so let's write this down here. Bread which is lacham, lacham and water gonna put that together wa mayam lakum wa mayam is in front of in front of is lapanya in front of her table. Possessive pronoun here. So we're going to put table is Shalkan. And her, the possessive adjective pronoun is ha. So here we have it. Bread and water is in front of her table. Lakham, which is bread, wa mayam, bread and water, lapanya, in front of table, her or her table. Alright? So let's separate it like the rest. Bread, lakham. Wa is and. Mayam is water. La Panya is in front of. And Shalkhan, ha. Shalkhan is table. And the ha at the end, possessive pronoun or adjective, is her. So here we have it. Lacham wa mayam la panya shalchanha. Lacham wa mayam la panya shalchanha. Bread and water in front of her table. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, the next sentence we have is, my book my book
and her sign is behind the door. My book and her sign change I say this should be R plus is more than one. Uh, behind the door. So my book right here, possessive adjective pronoun is book is support. My is ya. Yeah. My book and her sign. Another possessive pronoun sign is, so we're going to first put wa, which is an, sign is so I can put that backwards Behind, behind is a car, yeah. A car, yeah. The door, ha, huh? is the door, the laugh. So here we have it. Sapaya wa tho wa thoha akaya ha dalath. Sapa is book. The ya is my. So you have my book. Wa is and Tho is sign The Ha is her and her sign a higher behind Ha the La Ha is the the lap door so here you have it sapaya wa thoha akhaya ha the lap sapaya wa thoha akhaya ha the lap my book and her sign, R, R, we're not going to put any word for R, behind, Akhaya, Ha, the la, the door. Okay, the next one we have is to our sons walk before the people and speak
his words. This one's a little long, but um, we're going to get through it. To our sons. Two, we know is la. To our sons. Possessive adjective. La bun yenawa. La bun yenawa. To our sons, walk before the people. Walk is what? Halak. I gave that to you. Halak before Lapanya Walk before the people. The is her. People is I'm. Walk before the people and speak. And is wa. Speak is the bar. speak his words the word for speak and words are the same thing so we're gonna put the bar yeah and his is war. So we have La Bun Yenawa Halak La Panya Haim Wa the Bar the Bar Yawa La Pun La Bunyam or excuse me La Bun Yenawa which is La is two I don't have room to write it down, but I'm going to just say La is two. Bun is son. Yenawa is our sons. Bun Yenawa is our sons. Halak is walk. Halak is walk. Lapanya is before. Ha is the. And I'm is people. Ha I'm. The people. Wa is and the bar. And speak. Wa the bar. The bar the verb. Wa the bar. The bar ya wa. Now, the bar over here, which is a noun, means word. So when you have the bar ya wa, you have his, which is wa, and the bar ya, which is words the bar yawa la banya nawa halak la panya ha aim wa the bar the bar yawa to our sons walk before the people and speak his words Okay, remember last week or two weeks ago, I gave you possessive pronouns or adjectives. You had ya. Yeah. Which was my. 
you had ka, which was your, you had wa, which was his, and you had ha, which was her. Then you had Nawa, which was our. You had come, which was your plural. Masculine. Then you had con, which is your plural feminine. Then you had hum, which is their masculine. Then you had hun, which was their feminine. <clears throat> These here are possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are used as adjectives to describe nouns. So these here were used in the back of nouns, such as book, chair, table, camel, stuff like that. Those were nouns. And at the end, you can always use these possessive pronouns or adjectives. But today, we're going to learn about something called pronomial. Pronomial pronouns. Now, pronomial pronouns do not come after nouns because a pronomial pronoun is going to be used as a direct object. So, pronomial pronouns will always follow verbs. So, whenever you see the ya and it's behind a verb, it will be used as a pronoun. If you see ya behind a noun such as book, then you would know it's used as a possessive adjective. So for pronomial pronouns, you would use the same letters here. You would still use ya, ka, wa, ha, nawa, come, kun, hum, and hun. But the difference is, it would mean something different. The my would be changed to me. Because me has now become a pronoun. The ka, which is your, will become you. The wa, which is his, will now become him. Ha, which is her, is going to stay the same. This is the only one that basically stays the same. So ha would remain the same as her. Nawa would no longer be our, but it will be us. Come would no longer be your plural, but come will become you, plural. Same with con. They will all become you. But you'll have to remember the ending. So this will be masculine, plural. And this will be feminine, plural.
hum would no longer be there, hum will become them. And this would be masculine. Same with the feminine. This will become them. So there you have it. Pronomial pronouns at the end of verbs. So whenever you see the ya at the end of a verb, such as the one I gave you earlier, halak, it would be halakya, which means would means to walk with me or to walk me. You at the end of a, a verb would means you. The wa him ha her. Nawa at the end of a verb would mean us. Come would be you, plural. Kun, you, plural also. Hum would be them. Hun would be them also. So now I'm going to give you a couple of examples as how to use this. And then we're going to stop the class and give you a little homework so you can practice on your own. Okay, before we go into the verbs, I'm going to show you how to use those pronomial pronouns with prepositions because you'll see that a lot also in the scripture. Here are some of the prepositions I gave you before. Ba, which was basically in, with, and what else? also was against. We had la, which was as, like, what else was it? It was two, and it was also we just put according to. I see you had bar. Okay. Next, you also had la, la, which was two, four, and it was also at. Next one we had was ka, ka was as. like and according to according to and the last one was ma which was from you all remember these here that was from last week or two weeks ago ba La, ka, and ma. These were prepositions. We used them in prepositional phrases. But now we're going to use them in conjunction with the pronomial pronouns. So, I'm going to erase this here and give you a couple of examples real quick. So let's take example. Let's use me. Let's say we want to use to me you would use to is what la and me is what ya so la ya would mean to me now if I wanted to say from us us being the pronoun I would say Ma, 
ma nawa from us if I wanted to say with with him you would say ba and him would be wa ba wa with him that's how you be using the prepositions with the pronomial pronouns notice the la ya manawa it won't be to my or from our or in his it will be to me to me from us and with him okay I hope this is pretty straightforward I'm gonna give you um, some homework and we'll go from there I'm going to post the homework on the website and I'm also going to put it on the video for you to see. And with that, brothers and sisters, I'm going to say Shalom. Hope you enjoyed the class. It's a lot shorter than before. For the other classes, make sure you visit hodc12.info. Go to Learning Hebrew where you would also see the video. And below that, you would see the link for the homework which would be downloadable in a PDF or it might just pop up on the screen. Alright brothers and sisters, show on. You have